But by feeling this, we're trying to actually keep the chest, the arms, the club working more as a one piece or the structure of keeping that together. We stack it like a wall and then go through that. It's this feeling of the club staying more neutral is what we want. Another day on this journey from scratch to scratch where I start from scratch, oh my God, over there to try to become a scratch golfer way over there. If you are new here, we've been working a lot, grinding a lot with a lot of great coaches on this channel. And, and today we are back in LA with our other coach, Rick Sessinghouse. And we're just gonna continue that conversation of the lower body, get that all situated. So with all that, let's get into it. <laughs> the journey never ends, right? And we're just in a, right now you're in a time block where this is where you're at skill set wise. We want to look at your entire game to get to scratch is not just being a great ball striker. It's going to re require you to have a short game and have putting and make good decisions and course management, all those type of things. The quest can, can use it to go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Working some with some of the best players in the world, they're always trying to find what worked and then obviously what doesn't. But some of the conversations I'll have um, with Colin is you hit the ball really, really well. What happened? I will almost ask that question almost as much as, oh, we were off today. What happened? It's easy to break down what's wrong, but let's also reinforce what's right. It's been a few weeks since I've seen you. Mm -hmm. um, we, we worked on a, a, some different concepts. Uh, we worked on some stuff with the lower body mm -hmm. and such. And it's not all about is the ball flight getting better? That's the end goal. Did you feel like you made any strides as it related to the mechanics of the swing? I'm like feeling this more, uh, the hip bump turn. Yes. But uh, the two questions I have mainly is like, I don't really know when I could check like this was a good rep right now because right now I'm like, okay, I just did it. But was it too fast? Was it not too fast? It just went wrong completely left, completely sure. right. Sure. And then um, I think I kind of mentioned this in text, like right now I can mainly do it in half swings and just get to the ball that. Yep. When I'm doing full swings though, it's so foreign and it's like out here. So like lagging behind, you know, like mm -hmm. the, the club. And, and so because of that, I end up kind of just like scooping. And so I think scooping right now for me is a big thing that I'm trying to kind of alleviate. I'll address the getting stuck behind you in a moment. Sure, sure. But let's go back to square one. So uh, do a review. So set yourself up. We know there's a difference between setup and impact, yeah. right? So I want the club head to stay there. I want your left hip to bump me, and I want you to clear the hip, right? We're going to feel some, go one more time, bump and hold. Stay there for me, please. We're going to feel a weight that went from here to here. Yep. We're going to feel there's a, some, some weight went into here. Yep. There's a stretch that's going to happen probably in here a lot right in there, right? Because I'm, I'm getting this to separate from this. What happens when some, you stay out there, when they do it incorrectly, some people do this, okay? Mm -hmm. they, and that's where we're talking about shanking, right? Yeah. We get too far away from here. We start to hold off the heel now exposed, and now mm -hmm. we're hitting it here. This could be great, but now people are like, oh, I, I'm supposed to hold on. I don't want to flip. I don't want to, and they're holding on for dear life, and bye-bye ball to the right. But we're going to free you up a little bit where it's, it's and I would not, of course, I don't want scooping, but we've got to get, hands, arms, chest to work as one piece, we don't want them to separate either. So mm -hmm. we'll do it, we'll I think at the end, we did a little bit of some towel drill stuff. I think that's gonna be very, very important for us. What we're gonna do here in these next few minutes is we're gonna cut you in half. This is all that matters right now. Okay. Okay. So we've done a club is staying stationary, your bump turning, right? That's a stationary drill you can put in front of a mirror, right? If there was the mirror here, you're getting bump turn. You take a look at that now in the mirror and go, oh, wow. I can see this has gotten to here. I can see this has opened up. I can mm -hmm. still, and you need some visual representation for the feel you're gonna have, mm -hmm. okay? Then it becomes little chip shot feels, mm -hmm. right? So we go to setup, and now you're gonna do the same drill. Keep the club head there, bump, turn. Now, you're going to, from this position, this, does, this stays solid, you're gonna hit a chip shot. You're gonna go boop, boop. Ball's gonna go 10 feet, that's it. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, go back to setup. Bump, turn, chip shot. There we go. Good job. See, I want you to get the feeling of that separation. Mm -hmm. Bump, turn, chip shot. Awesome. Last one. Hold the finish, please. Bump, turn, chip shot, hold it. Good. We have good extension. We're eventually going to get the arm a little oh. closer to the body because it's starting to chase this way. This looks wide open in a good way. That's awesome. Everything's staying in front of you. Mm, okay? okay. 
Now you can relax. By having just this little add-on, right? We're trying to get what's the feeling of now impact and post-impact, right? And I'm trying to kind of trying to help this that it's okay for it that to turn. It's okay for it to go this way. Mm. When people are shanking it, sometimes they're this way. They're mm. trying to hold on to the angle so much. They're trying to keep everything straight. And, yeah. <laughs> and that's counterproductive. Um, you can't hold on to the club. You can't. It can't. It, the momentum's going to pull it there. But we're going to match things up a little bit better. Okay. So that was a little chip shot drill. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to do it without the preset this time. Set up. Little chip shot. Okay. Gotcha. So it's not pre-programming it anymore. Mm -hmm. Tiny shot. So okay. in that case, though, when I bring it back, do I start? No, no, no. Going? You don't have to. I, I oh, think. Okay. I think what's what's good about you is you're coachable and you're athletic. Problem with that is you're going to exaggerate everything I say. Okay, you're going to be here. See, Rick, I got. I go. Okay, you did it, but you yeah. did it now too much. Oh, I see. So in this case, I don't want to go. Just, yeah. just feel in a way everything's working together. Tiny little chip shot. We're just helping you feel like you can clear through a little more consistently. That's it. Tiny. Good. And, and, and then the key thing here is, yes, I want quality of contact to feel like you're brushing the ground and there's a little bit of compression, mm -hmm. but I really want you to be able to hold the finish, yeah. feel what's happening in this, feel what's happening here, okay? okay. So hold the finish. This is a regular um, setup with a chip shot feel to it. Hold. Okay, good. So are we in here? Bad. we could probably go a little bit more into that left side mm, okay okay this looks pretty dang good club face is nice and square good yeah. so even on chip shot i i can eventually my weight's there yeah so i think we yeah, have yeah. to get defined clearing yeah okay there has to be a posting first then a clearing now it all happens in one motion but as we talked about last time is that i have some players who are very good at moving laterally yeah but not rotationally you're the opposite you're very good at rotational but not necessarily getting into that left side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't worry as much about like, oh, I gotta clear my hips. Clear. You, you're gonna clear them fine. Yeah. I need to get you in to here first. Gotcha. I need to get you into there first. And that posting. We call it posting, yeah. I'm not at the ball yet at post. Like once I keep it, it's kind of like still here. And then this it, is getting it. Uh, yes, it's gonna be feel versus real. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, you're here, we, we're, moving this as this is finishing don't think about that way okay <laughs> i get into here by impact that leg is is straightening i see and i'm coming through there okay okay but we're doing it through baby steps here first is with these chip shots i want you to feel what it's like to get through impact and keeping that stability okay okay Pretty good. Do you feel like you're in that side? Yes. That's the first thing. And this is secondary. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure you don't feel like you're going away from yourself, which would lead to more of the, yeah. the heel shots. Okay. The right. No. Heel shots. We, we don't use the other word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the S <So>. word. <laughs> Power fades yeah. is what we call them. Uh, <laughs> so a little, one more a little chip shot for me, please. Normal setup. Chip shot to feel going through impact. Could you hear the difference? That was a good one. Mm -hmm. Good compression. Good here. I'd probably get a touch more to there. Oh, I keep coming in here. Yeah. So, so again, I'm going to clear, but we're trying not to go in there. It's here. Kind of so I'm here and then boom. Because eventually this is, I, I think I mentioned last time, is we call stacking the joints, yeah. right? So knee joint is over ankle. Hip is over knee. Where hip, knee, ankle, joint is all in one line. Okay. Mm. Now, if I go past it, obviously hip joint is past this. That's no good. Yeah. That's a sliding type of thing. Mm -hmm. We had the issue of rotational, eh, not even quite here, but definitely this hip was not over ankle, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We stack it like a wall yeah. and then go through that. Gotcha. Right? So that's where we have to continue to have you feel it. When you work with your physio, it's usually um, left um, glute muscle is weak. Yeah. So we're weak, so we get away from it. We go to our quad muscles instead. Mm -hmm. But if I can get into this side and it can keep me stable, because there's a lot of speed going into that, great. If I'm weak here, I will either revert back, yeah. okay, or keep this leg bent too much. That's not our issue. Our issue is just you have rotation, which is fantastic. We're just not posting well enough. Okay. In there, okay. Yeah, and I, sometimes when I'm 
practicing and see my swing. Sometimes I even just like trying to get it, I like sway all the way. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Right. So <laughs> it's a, and it's a subtle. It's subtle yet it's how should I say? It's so important though. You being two inches too much here is danger on another level. You not getting to the two inches there is problematic too. So it, it it's going to happen. Okay. Um, so now we went from chip shot. Now I want us to take the club hip height to hip height. Same intention on the follow through is you're almost going to feel like everything is straight up here, right? We're, we're minimizing anything falling back um, and the rotation from there. So half swing now. Our goal is still lower body, okay? Okay. Now, feeling real. Did you yeah. feel like you got posted nicely on that one? Yeah. Great. A little bit. So now we have the visual. How good does that look, huh? Yeah, that looks better. Boom. Left leg stays there, stays there, stays there. That is a good motion. That's the proper way to do the drill. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's funny because I just, in my mind, I exaggerated it and I thought I swayed and I, and I just. You never got outside of ankle joint. Okay, good. Right? Cool. I mean, we could do the next one where we put electric shock treatment here. You go past it, it zaps you. I mean, that would be good for the viewers. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing with all golfers, right? It's you're now understanding golf swing more. You understand what it should look like. The feel and real is where we have to get past. Like, I thought that was a great rep. Yeah. You're going, great, check it off. You're going, yeah, but I thought I slid. I thought I needed to give you the visual to go, oh, he didn't. So that's the feedback. And maybe less balls to hit, but more feedback. The feedback could be a mirror. It could be you're videoing yourself, but what are you looking at in the video? Not trying to be perfect. It's like Coach Rick said, I got to post up. Yeah. I'm going to do the next 20 reps posting up. Yeah. Period. Check in maybe every fifth swing. Yeah. And go, I'm there. Wow, that felt different. Or wow, gosh, I'm away from that. That's where our learning is going to happen quicker. Not going to the range and go, let's see how my swing looks. Oh, crap. I got to work on five things today. Yeah. No, we have to prioritize. And we decided the last time, because you have some really good fundamentals, we're prioritizing how the lower body's working. We know that's going to help our overall path, but also quality of contact. Um, and then we build from there. Okay. okay. So let's do two more reps with the half swing. Yeah. You just saw how good that one looked. Okay. So give me feedback. It, it feels like I got there. And I would say yes. So I'm your feedback saying yes. Yeah. How'd the ball coming off the face feel? It felt pretty solid. Solid, right? Yeah. So we had good compression. So my philosophy is if you do other parts correctly, the sequence takes over. You don't have to think of hands. We're told, okay, don't scoop, don't do this, hook, keep the club. To me, that means that we're trying to hit a ball. Yeah. I want us to swing the club yeah. as much as we can. Okay. okay. Like that looked again, very, very good. Do one more on your own. Half swing drill. Our goal is to post up into that left side. Okay. Give me feedback. Yeah. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. There's a little bit more balance that went this way. Yeah, just a touch. on my toe. Just yeah. a touch. So it means we could probably gotten a little more rotational. Yeah. Okay. But I, I think back to, you know, we were joking about the shanking the ball. And again, a lot of golfers do that is let's just be careful not to reach. We're not reaching. Okay. Mm. We're going to stay with the body. So the last drill that I want to do today is kind of what you alluded to. It's like, gosh, Rick, I'm working on my lower body, but I feel like I'm, you know, maybe disconnected a little. The club and arms are behind you, correct? Yeah, when I'm doing the full swing. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, grab um, a towel. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna put it in our arms, and we're gonna be connected with our upper body. Okay. So the, so the goal here is, you give, give yourself a little bit of looseness right here. Okay. Is I'm not concerned as much back here. Mm -hmm. I've seen your position really, really good. What we're talking about is that you're, at least what I, I'm hearing from you is that the lower body's going fast. Yeah. You feel like you're way over here and you can't catch up. But by feeling this, we're trying to actually keep the chest, the arms, the club working more as a, a one piece or the structure of keeping that together, okay? Mm -hmm. This is still gonna move fast, but now this is allowed to follow um, and be able to go with that. Okay. Okay. So yeah, nice golf towel, have a little bit of space here so it doesn't feel like it's too constricted. Show me some practice swings. And the goal is, is that the towel has to stay there the entire time. It mm. will feel constricted. Mm. We don't want it to drop on the here. We definitely don't want to drop it here. You're going to stay connected the entire swing. It may feel like a three quarter swing. That's fine. But go for a full swing. You're going to go for as big a swing as you can still stay connected with the towel. Okay. 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 Now, other than the word weird, mm -hmm. how does that feel? Uh, restricted. Restricted. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Now, what I'm doing is for multiple reasons. Um, one, uh, there's a lot of golfers that, again, the arms start to go independent from everything else. I'm trying to keep this working as one. Yeah. The other idea is that the swing, we've talked about the ground a lot. I believe that a lot of it happens internally here, right? Like I'm turning like a top. Yep. I'm not trying to hit with my arms as much. So I, I like less moving parts in a golf swing. And so if this is here, I'm going to just go right here without it going right and the arms getting away. Hmm. So we're going to hit balls now. Yep. Okay. We have now turned our attention. This is not this anymore. Okay. okay. Got it. Don't try to multitask on me. Okay. Gotcha. It's only this. Okay. Your only goal is to hit the ball with as big a swing as you can, maintaining the towel underneath the arms. Okay. Connection drill. Okay. Now, did we keep the towel? Yep. We did. We accomplished the goal. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a, this one's a pretty easy one to know if we did it right or not. But if, if the, the arm comes off, the, the dro uh, towel drops, obviously the rep was, was disconnected. Okay. And then what we want to get, we'll let them go through here, um, is, that, is that feeling of, it feels restrictive. I get that. Yeah. It's almost like we put the club, if it came out of my, it's like, boom, right? So we're staying connected. We're not allowing it to move. So it's, oh, I see. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, There's yeah. a feeling of this is hitting the ball in gotcha. a way. So it's a towel drill, keeping the connection as we go. So if we looked at just the drill, okay, works together. There's no scooping, right? That's a leaning shaft. Yeah. That looks great coming through here. So structurally, that looks like a good golf swing of what we want. Now you thinned it a little bit and stuff like that, but the, the concept here is we want to replace the scooping feeling you're having with something else. Instead of me saying, don't scoop, gee, thanks, Rick, that's helpful. <laughs> it's what are we replacing it? We're replacing it with my body controlling the club, uh, turning through it, and the hands go along for the ride. Gotcha. Okay, so let's do a couple more reps here. I think that last one though, like I was trying to keep this under my armpit so much that I, I went like, like this. Oh, I got a little bit of Yeah, so kind of just bend there. still kind of connected and kind of going through. Okay. Okay. And yes, this is an exaggeration. I just want to put that out there, okay? <laughs> I know it feels restrictive. It's a, yeah. It is an exaggeration. Mainly on this end is where I want you to feel the most. Okay. Okay. Later on, you'll have a little more freedom on both sides, but trying to keep this to be structured good without it moving away, exposing heel this way. Okay. Okay. So last one here, staying connected. Okay. Did we feel connected? Yeah. Awesome. Connected. So I'm going to take the towel away. Now we're doing it without it, right? You could take it from here to then, a and this would be more left side for us. So you could then put a glove in here. You could put a dollar bill here. We can get thinner and thinner. I don't want it to be elbow in the body, upper bicep with upper chest. I know that one felt lower. I get it, it was a towel. Now we're gonna go a little higher, a little higher, and we're just gonna feel like there's a dollar bill here. Mm -hmm. You have to keep the dollar bill there though. Gotcha. The entire swing. Okay. okay, and then for this one as well? Don't worry about it, that one as much. Okay. This is, the main reason I was having you do this was what you explained a little bit with kind of feeling stuck in here. That means the arm is away from us. I want that arm to work with you oh, as you come see. through. We're staying connected as if there was a glove underneath your left armpit. Gotcha, and basically do a full swing or? Yeah, go for it. Feeling that. Okay, so now the, again, the goal was, did you feel like this stayed connected? Yes. Great. Right. Sure. Okay. So that's your rep. Now it might be bonus that that sounded good. It might've felt good. Yeah. That's great. But this is what we're training right now. Okay. Okay. It could be a glove underneath there. It could be a dollar bill. Oh. Listen, but we're not, we're not grading it on that. <laughs> no, you're not grading on that. You, it's certainly an assessment part. Like you can come back and text me and say, Rick, I think I'm doing the connection better, but I'm noticing half my shots are thin. Yeah. That's important for me. Right now, you're new to the game. Yeah. I'm trying to have you learn a new motor pattern. Mm -hmm. And yes, we have to time it up and all that kind of stuff. But if you hit a great golf shot and you finish like this, I'm gonna go, no, that's not what I want. Yeah. Then you're getting away with compensations. Yeah. We're trying to eliminate compensations the best we can. The lower body stable, upper body is connected. Less and less to think about is what we're ultimately getting to. Okay, so that you're right, you thinned it. Did we achieve the goal though? I think we did. Yeah. So you could hear there was a different compression, right? Oh. There's a little bit more ball than mat. Right? There's only one thin shot. So to me, that shows that there's less scooping, right? Because scooping, the club's gonna bottom out early. Either I'm gonna hit way behind it or I'm gonna hit it thin because I'm the club starts to go up. You're going through and down the ball really, really well on three of those last four. Okay. okay. So I think that's a good sign too, is that you can hear that thump and feel that compression. 
to me means that this all lined up really, really well. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Any questions from today? Um, so obviously I'm just trying to now connect the two. Of course. Um, so when I'm like practicing, should I be like cognizant? <clears throat> I guess like what is the swing thought now when I'm doing it all together is just trying to get here with disconnected. Yeah. And then that's... I, I, I believe that that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Yeah. Is you could even warm up with working on the lower body and still have the towel there as a reminder oh. and still work on it. But we want to create speed many different spots. Yeah. And, and I think this is the first part. But us matching back up. It's okay for a chest to rotate. I think back in the day we thought, oh, you got to keep this chest way back here. But in reality, it does move to the left. It rotates. Um, and we just want to make sure that everything lines back up here. Good players, or in, or in your case, you're going to be a really good player, is you're, you're athletic enough to get disconnection. This goes this way, this goes this way, mm -hmm. uh, which a lot of young players have. And we're yeah. trying to get you more over it, working together all the way through. So that's why this drill helps kind of glue this together. We've worked on this, and I think we can put those two pieces together, as you just explained. Uh, gotcha. So this is mainly c to uh, avoid the lagging of the hands? Correct. They're all obviously connected. Hand, elbow here. If this is back here, right, that's a disconnect. That's lagging. But if it stays in front of me, for a better word. Oh, uh, okay, wait. Oh, I see. Okay, I feel it. See what I mean? Yeah, I feel it. Okay, do, do one because you just felt it. Yeah, I think when I was texting pictures, it was kind of like, th uh, I guess this was, how do I even explain this? I'm going like this, but... It's not bringing the body. The <laughs> correct. No, no, okay, no. Correct. And then it would yeah. do this, which now got the face to open. Hazel going this way, and now we hit the shank, yeah. unfortunately. What's good about being connected is you can go at it as hard as you want. I can turn faster and faster. Everything's matched up. Yeah. If I go fast here, and this is way back here, like you experience, very disconnected. Yeah, that makes sense. You feel like you accomplished the goal. I think I accomplished the goal, but it's slightly thin, but yeah. Okay, that's fine. Do it one more time. So from this vantage point, I'm just making sure we're not cheating. Uh, so posturally, um, pretty straight spine. We have to be careful you don't get too close to it. Oh, I see. We're mainly looking today at how do we make a transition, okay? Okay, so the club is a little out to in, which I'm going to give you one little bonus thing here in a second. Yeah. Um, we come through there. That looks very good from a postural standpoint. And you're getting off your back foot, no problem, right? Mm -hmm. So there's some good stuff that you're doing, okay? The next phase of all this is, yeah, the club is out there a little bit. Yeah, so that's been a problem when I try to do this. I always end up going like, like this, but... Um, okay, and we, we can change some angles. Yeah. So the last visual I have for you is right behind you there. You see that big thing over there? Yeah. Okay. So that's called an ex explainer. It's been around for years. And I may borrow your club real quick and have you look at it from that angle. Now, this is not perfect, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but it, visually, right, if I put that club on there and I'm coming back and forth, right, that would be a very neutral plane, correct? We're seeing, we're, we're a little in here, but let's just for right now assume we're pretty good at the top, which sure. we are. You're explaining to me is like when you come on that downswing, you're moving here, now we have the club out to in. Path goes this way which is either a pull or a fade slice, yeah. right? And that's the next start part of, out of this equation. And we're just working on the turning, working on that, that's great. Then we work on the arms, then we work on the hands. So it's, it's this feeling of the club staying more neutral is what we want. Mm -hmm. So have you step on in here. It won't hurt your club, but you can certainly put it on there. But this is more of just that the sensation of what we wanna feel on the way back. It would probably come off at just a touch here. And then on the way down, can you get back to kind of the tubing, right? That's the feeling. Okay, good. And then we get back onto that track on the way down, right? So this is not set up perfect right now. It would be a touch more upright here and then a flatter on the way down. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to give you the sensation that from here, delivery position to exit position, this is pretty close to what we want. And how do we feel like the club is behind you per se, without being in front of you too much, right? Now, if the club was way over here, we call that getting stuck. We're coming in to out and we've got some problem, right? So we're trying to get you more neutral, okay? Beginner golfers, intermediate golfers tend to be a little bit more out to in, which yeah. is your pattern. We're gonna keep tweaking it and getting you closer to this neutral plane. This last part of this, this session is yeah. about what would be in the future, yeah. right? 
like I said, I think lower body is still a priority and this connection is a priority. I agree with you. The club is too far out to end for you to be optimal. That last part is getting us to uh, maybe feel that in a different way, visually see it in a different way, and we can work towards that is where we're going to go. Okay? Okay. Yeah. And the hardest thing for a student to convey is feel. I ask <laughs> you, how do you feel? You go, uh, uh, good. It's like, well, that's not really a feel. Yeah. Okay. But if it's like connected and uh, restrictive or loose or free, right, those become feels. So don't think you have to necessarily tell me exactly how you feel because the words may not match. But you need to almost internally, even at, at home, just go, oh, yeah, that was the feel. Okay. How do I replicate that as gotcha. much as we can? And so in this case, like I felt connected here. Yes. I felt like I was getting to this. I Would it be good practice to film myself doing this and then sure. get to the point where I still have the same feeling, but now it's um, neutral? Of course. No, no, no. I mean, good? that's what I say, but let's not get obsessed that every single swing you video and you have to look at every single swing, please. Yeah. It's kind of like every <laughs> fifth to 10th swing. Okay. Okay. You have to do enough of figuring it out on your own yep. before you always go back. A lot of young players now, uh, we have so much technology on our phone. We can do now 3D renderings of you. We can do all this kind of stuff, but we get lost in perfection yeah. instead of let's get better. And then we're going to work backwards, two steps forward, one step back, um, instead of trying to be perfect at everything. Okay. okay? <laughs> yeah. Sound good? Yes, sir. All right. Short game? You got it. Let's go.